years in jail. Um, President Trump will be considered a first-time offender. These are non-violent crimes. Uh, so it seems that it is unlikely the judge would sentence him to prison, but we are now up to 31 counts guilty out of 34. 32 guilty, also coming in from inside the courtroom. Our producers now saying 33 and 34. They're saying guilty on all 34 charges. Um, that is where we are at. Uh, the, the jurors, it looks like we're going to leave for the day. Suddenly we get this verdict. It is 34 guilty counts on all of this. I want to bring in uh, Andy McCarthy, who's here with me, Judge Janine as well, and Trey Gowdy. Um, Andy, where we go from here, obviously there will automatically be an appeal from this Trump team as quickly as possible. Um, there's the legal Scumbag issue New York. to come. That's going to take maybe months to get to a, a free trial. The jurors are all scumbags. A sentencing by the judge, and he reminded the jurors he's the one who decides. Um, but we have the reality now of a former president for the first time being convicted on 34 criminal counts, guilty on all of these counts. Whatever conflict or confusion or questions the jury had, they got that information back to them this morning. And by the end of day two of deliberations, we're at 34 guilty counts for the former president of the United States of America. Still doesn't matter. I'm still voting for Trump. By his partisan adversaries. Whatever you think of the results, it's inconceivable in New York that anyone else other than Donald Trump would ever been indicted in this way. Uh, by Alvin Bragg, the elected progressive Democratic district attorney who campaigned on the fact the that scumbag. he was after Donald Trump, that he had a history of going after Donald Trump. This is a very political exercise, and you have to say that it accomplished what it set out to accomplish. What they wanted was to have a situation where they could call Donald Trump a convicted felon in the run-up to the election. We have an elected Democrat who got that accomplished. He got a very friendly judge who ruled his way on every important thing and turned the jury instructions into a roadmap to conviction. So now I assume, with the mission having been accomplished, we'll have more procedural regularity, Shannon, as you just said. There'll be a pre-sentence investigation. There should be a sentencing schedule, and we'll go from there. But this case will be appealed, and I hope that there'll be more fairness and equity in the appeal than there was in the trial. And Trey, when these counts, this indictment first came in, there were a lot of people across the political and legal spectrum who said, this feels like the weakest case against President Trump. Something changed along the way. How much of this had to do with the guidance from Judge Rashawn, whether it was uh, the jury instructions, whether it was the decisions on objections, uh, whether it was the decision not to let in certain uh, witnesses that the defense wanted to call? All of the above. Uh, the verdict is a necessary uh, and probable consequence of everything that happens up to that point. So that includes jury selection. Uh, it includes evidentiary rulings. Um, I was in the courtroom or the overflow room four different days. Shannon, it wasn't just the result of Judge Mershon's rulings. It, it, the tone of his voice was different depending on which side was doing the objecting. So, you know, look, I, I said a week ago, juries usually get it right based on the information they're given. They didn't get it right this time. You hear from an FEC expert when you hear both proximity and propensity evidence against the defendant. And by that, I mean he was close to two people who were guilty, therefore he must be guilty. And you hear salacious details. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Show the channel some love. And show Donald Trump some love, too, for putting up with their crap. But the verdict is only the result of what you're given up until that point. So this is not a surprising result to me. Okay, so Judge, I want to bring you in here. Obviously, uh, an appeal takes time. It can be months, God bless, years, Patriots. Like I'll see you next it time. It may be a long time before that is resolved, however it is resolved. But what that leaves is this White House, the Biden-Harris campaign, uh, free now to call President Trump a convicted felon. I got to say, though, over a year ago when President Trump was asked, will you drop out of this race and convicted, or not convicted, if indicted, he said, no, because I actually think it will help me in my poll numbers. They've done well in fundraising. He's done well in polling. Does this help or hurt now in the public opinion where he's got to get independent voters, where he's got to get people who are not necessarily part of his base, now that he's got this conviction, which may or may not one day... Stocks are through the roof. You know, um, Shannon, I don't have the answer to, to that question. I want to believe that Americans believe in justice. 
And I think that in their gut, uh, as they well, we didn't get justice this time. Very wrong here. We have gone over a cliff in America. This verdict is a verdict of someone who was forced to fight a 1,000 pound gorilla with both hands tied behind his back. This was a defendant for whom crimes were created, against whom a judge was picked um, the, out of the ordinary, not from, not from the drum, but a judge who was handpicked to, for this defendant, who denied him the ability to fight the way he needed to fight, who brought in crimes that we've never heard of in New York before, where uh, they had uh, dead misdemeanors that they resurrected into felonies based upon non-unanimous verdicts of crimes that are federal over which no state court or no state judge or prosecutor has jurisdiction and in the end with all the smoke and mirrors at 34 counts and a hooker and a guy according to a federal judge is a serial perjurer we have convicted a former president of the united states of america we've gone over a cliff the question as to whether or not America will react to this, whether his numbers will go up or down, I don't know. No, the what question is whether or not America will survive this case is riddled with errors. It, it after the Chinese government comes in and takes over. The appellate division and the first department in New York, or certainly the court of appeals before the next year. And people say, should it go to the Supreme Court? No, it can't go to the Supreme Court unless they exhaust all of the state court appeals. I am, I, I spent 32 years in this system, and I am totally disillusioned. You had a judge, and you had a DA who literally campaigned on making sure that this uh, president would be indicted. We've got an attorney general who did the same thing. This is a new era in America, and I think it goes against the ilk of and it's who not we a are pretty one. Americans and our faith in the criminal justice system. I have no faith in the government. So, if you're just joining us, 34 counts, 34 in that indictment against President Trump. Today, the jury comes back unanimously, convicting him guilty on all 34 counts. Uh, they were all similar in that they had to do with falsification of business records. That was what would have been a misdemeanor. That's where the statute of limitations would have run. And there was another underlying crime, which we didn't find out about what that was going to be, essentially, until this closing argument and the jury instructions from the judge yesterday. Uh, he gave them choices. Uh, Trey, we've talked about this many times, uh, that they had choices. Will we ever know what choice the jury made with linking this to an underlying crime? There are only two ways you'll know that, maybe possibly three. Uh, on appeal, arguably, the government could be forced to, to, to explain what that second crime was. Maybe it's in the special verdict form, and we haven't seen it. Uh, it certainly wasn't read to the jury. It wasn't told. Uh, the jury was just polled, which means each individual juror was asked, is this your verdict and still your verdict? We don't know what that secondary crime was. Uh, or a member of the, the jury crime was they were told uh, not to, to come back with a guilty verdict to, or they were going to jail. Members of the jury will talk and they'll say this, is, this was that extra crime that we found. What do you think, Andy? Um, the judge there talks about how people are going to react to this in different ways. You know, we've, we've got a, a tweet out now from Donald Trump Jr. He says, guilty on all counts, the Democrats have succeeded in their years-long attempt to turn America into a third world blank. Uh, November 5th is our last chance to save it. So, top news. That's all right. Trump can't, really, can't go on, uh, on do his rallies. will come to him. They did what I told you they were going to try to do to me. Come on, patriots. If you're a true patriot, stick with this man. Hard for us to gauge as people who were very involved in politics. If you're not a patriot, I'm sorry to say, the people you're trying to reach are the people lose my, my account. Taken in with politics. For most of the people who are in our world and who I don't need you on this channel. I, I think they're pretty stuck in their positions. And I have enough patriots on this channel that are worth their salt. With us here. But I, I thought that um, the internal polling of the, of the Democrats has to tell them, it would seem to me, if you are a patriot, able to call hit that Trump subscribe. Convicted felon in the run up to the election is worth X number of I usually don't in the battleground state. So even if it fires up his base, and it should, tell people that I don't want them on my channel, but 
known this this crap just happened, I don't need you. Because you're not good for America. And while you're at it, get your stuff and get the hell out of the USA. That goes for Robert De Niro, Barbara Streisand, Madonna, Elton John, Bette Midler, Whoopi Goldberg, Will Smith, and I'm sure I'm forgetting a bunch more. Trump, or not Trump. The Clintons, the Bidens, the Obamas. Get out of our country, you scumbags. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. God bless. Hit that subscribe.